Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Z Physics. First off, I'd like to wish you the best of luck in the upcoming Cambridge and Oxford admissions exams. Now, today, what we're going to be doing is looking at some specific tips for some last minute revision for these exams. Now, let's have a look at Tip number one. My first tip would be to go over the specification just one more time, just to ensure that we've actually covered all of the important bits on the specification. If there is a topic that you've not potentially looked at, uh, for instance, the phases of the moon on the PAT exam are not commonly taught in A-level physics and some of the basic astronomy is not commonly taught, this might be an easy mark if a multiple choice question does arrive on that particular topic. So have a look across the specification tonight and see if you can pick out any topics that you may not have looked at in great detail, just to ensure that you score those extra marks. My next tip is to ensure that you have really got to grips with, with some topics which are normally taught towards the end of your A-levels. For instance, radiation, I mean, this could depend from college to college, may be taught somewhere around February or March time. Ensure that you're familiar with rearranging some of the exponential equations and be comfortable with applying your knowledge of natural logs to physics problems. Okay, my next tip would be to see if you guys could find some of the trickier problems out of the past papers. It doesn't necessarily mean that if you're taking, for instance, the natural sciences admission exam, uh, that you need to only be looking at those papers. Some of the anger papers or part papers will be very, very useful to you. I've actually compiled a playlist of uh, some tricky questions and I've included a link in the description. Okay, guys, and just one more tip for today, and that will be to have a look at a problem. Once again, there's a link in the description of this video, and this problem is based on dimensional analysis, and it's from the International Physics Olympiad. It is very, very detailed, and chances are that if you can solve this problem on dimensional analysis, then you can probably tackle pretty much any problem on dimensional analysis. So have a look in the, at the link in the description. Actually, guys, I'm going to give you one more tip, and that is to be really confident with projectile motion. This is a topic which blends in perfectly some of the mathematics and physics, and thus provides an excellent opportunity for some really, really interesting questions to have a look at. Okay, guys, well, hopefully you have enjoyed this, uh, this video. Hopefully you found this useful. Even more importantly, make sure, again, to get plenty of sleep and be as relaxed as possible for the actual exam. Make sure to really enjoy the problems and uh, best of luck in the exams.